All right, guys, so we have the Studio 5000 installed. Um, if we take a look at our programs now, and you'll tell me in the comment section whether I am completely lost here, but uh, I don't see RS links here whatsoever. A factory talk is there. Um, and is factory talk now the, re the replacement for uh, RS links? That's the question that, uh, that I have. And do you actually need RS links? Um, I'm going to download it just because that's what I've always done. But uh, I am a little bit confused as to whether I need RS links uh, when I do have factory talk there. Um, so let me walk you through how to download RS links and then you'll tell me whether I actually require this software uh, or not to talk to my Compact Logics uh, PLC. Okay, so uh, we're on Rockwell Automation. So we're at the same place as we were before um, when we downloaded the Studio 5000. Uh, if you have not logged in, then log back in uh, and then go down here to the downloads. So click on downloads. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do a search. Now you'll notice that <clears throat> if I put RS links with a space, it gives me nothing. So I'm going to remove that space. RS links comes up. Uh, there's 258 different things that just came up with the number of anomalies and stuff like that. I'm simply looking for the products here. So I'm clicking on products. Okay. Then I'm scrolling down and I just want the free one. So uh, RS Links Classic Light Free. Okay, so I'm going to Downloads. Okay, just like before, uh, I'm clicking to see the versions that are there. So it goes from uh, 2.43 to uh, 4.21, looks like the newest version. So we're clicking here to show the downloads. Excellent. Okay, so now we're uh, we're choosing this guy. Looks good. We're going to download this guy. Beauty. Let's download now. Okay, and then we're accepting the licensing agreement. Okay, let's save the file. Okay, it looks good. I'm going to uh, let it go. There we go. Let's open the containing folder here. Okay, so this is it right here. So let's double, I believe that's it. Let's double click on this guy. Okay, so that, that, that opens up the download manager for, uh, for Rockwell here. And now we're downloading the RS links and it's going to the same folder. It's going to the C folder, uh, going to the RA specifically. Okay, so it looks like we've downloaded the RS Links Classic here. So uh, we're gonna go to the, the C folder, the RA, which I believe is Rockwell Automation. So let's open that folder. We're gonna go to RS Links Classic. Here we go, we're looking for the setup file. So we'll try the setup file here, double click. Excellent, and as we've seen before, the standard uh, installation is fine. So we'll hit install now. Accept the licensing agreement once again. Okay, it looks good. So we've got uh, RS Links Classic downloaded now. So we'll close this bad boy now. Let's close this up. Okay, we can close the download manager. Close this bad boy. Looks good. Okay, let's go to our program files now. Ah, yes, RS Links Classic right here. Okay, so let's click on RS Links just to make sure everything's cool. Nice, looks good. So in the next videos, um, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, look at how to connect up to our Compact Logics using um, a USB connection, and then we'll do another video on how to connect up with an e Ethernet connection. All right, that was easy. Uh, may not have been needed. I'm not sure. This is how I've always been able to speak with my uh, Allen Bradley PLCs, but you will tell me whether I just completely uh, wasted my time here and I could have used Factory Talk, but I'm still confused on that. Um, anyways, thanks very much. We'll see you guys in the next video.